Hey, good morning, uh, Uncle Lou here. Uh, yep, that's right, it's me, Uncle Lou, live here for you on LouTube this morning. Uh, yep, hope everybody's having a great day and doing just fine. I'm pretty sure that you are. Uh, I'm, oh, uh, me? Oh, I'm doing great too, thanks for asking. Uh, you know what I'm to talk about today on, uh, Coffee Talk with Uncle Lou? I'm gonna talk about my favorite University of Georgia Bulldog quarterbacks of all time. Now... I'm not going to put these quarterbacks in any particular order. These are just my favorites. This does not mean these were the best Georgia quarterbacks of all time, okay? I have different reasons for, for different people that I'm going to name as to why they're some of my favorites, okay? This is only Uncle Lou's list. So, uh, you know, you don't have to agree with it. I'm sure I'll leave some off that, that you think should be included, uh, yeah, and I'll probably name some that you don't think should be included. Uh, that's just the way that it goes. But by all means, if I leave somebody off this list of Georgia Bulldog quarterbacks that is important to you, be sure and let me know. All right, let's start. What? Let's start at the beginning. 1892. Grambling, the first ever quarterback for the University of Georgia. Now, how can you have a list of favorite University of Georgia quarterbacks if you're not going to include the first one we ever had? So he goes on the list by default. Uh, okay, jumping up about 50 years. 1942, Walter McGuire. Now, why is he on the list? Easy. We won a national title that year. You win a national title for, for my Georgia Bulldogs, you automatically get on Uncle Lou's list of favorite Georgia quarterbacks of all time. So, thank you, Mr. McGuire. You did a great job. Uh, we also beat Florida that year 75 to nothing. Good morning. Uh, so, hats off to you, Walter McGuire. Uh, we'll jump up a little bit more here. Now, this is this is one that a lot of people probably won't name, and I, I get it. It's fine. Ray Goff. Uh, I think he, he played in the 70s. I think it was 70, uh, 75, 76, somewhere in there. Ray Goff, yes, he was a starting quarterback for the University of Georgia. Uh, I think that's pretty well known, or at least I know most of you know that he that he played, for, played at Georgia. He did. He played quarterback, 75, 76. Won an SEC title, uh, and uh, later... About 20 years later, uh, went on to become uh, head coach uh, at UGA. Uh, he was the coach, uh, you know, back in the 90s. Good morning. Uh, yep. So, Ray Goff, hats off to you. Now, this brings me... I said I'm not going to put these in any order, and I'm not. I'm sort of going chronologically, basically. But th 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 the next one is, for sure, my favorite UGA quarterback of all time. Buck Blue. Good morning, Buck. Uh, Buck Blue watches Uncle Lou every day like he's supposed to, so good morning, uh, Mr. Blue. Uh, of course, Buck Blue, the quarterback, 1980, 81, and 82. Uh, of course, you, you know, we won the national title in 1980. Uh, but we actually won the SEC three years in a row with Buck Blue, 80, 81, and 82. Uh, yeah, you know, we had Herschel Walker, uh, you know, and that, that helped a little bit. <laughs> But still, Buck Blue, three SEC titles in a row, 1980, 1981, and 1982. Great job, uh, sir. You're one of Uncle Lou's all-time favorites. In fact, you're the favorite, sir. Uh, yep, so you can put that on your tombstone there. Uh, yep. Uh, now, uh, who else Who else wants to make this? How about Heinz Ward? Uh, of course, Heinz Ward played some quarterback for UGA's. He's mainly a wide receiver. Uh, he played a little bit. He played all over the place, really, at UGA. But he did play a little quarterback, so we'll put him on the list of what, as one of Uncle Lou's favorites. Uh, this brings me to uh, one of the radio, one of the guys that's on the radio now for the, the Bulldog Radio Network, Eric Zire. Uh, Eric Zire was really the first quarterback uh, in my lifetime, anyway, that I can remember really slinging the ball around. I was alive when Buck Ballou played, but I, I was so little, I, I don't remember any of those games other than what you know. I've, I've watched, I've watched, you know, those games from the early '80s since then but as far as watching it when it was happening eric zyre is really the first quarterback i remember really getting out there and slinging the ball around so he'll he'll always be one of my uh one of my favorites 
And this gets us up really into, into modern times, the last 15 to 20 years or so. And this is where it gets hard because a lot of UGA fans want to name almost every quarterback we've had over the last 20 years as being one of their favorites. And I get the reasoning for it, too. Uh, and I could probably include all, all but two of those quarterbacks as well. The notable exceptions, of course, being Joe Cox and Tarashinsky uh, and Grayson Lambert, three that would never make anyone's list of favorite quarterbacks. Uh, but we we have had some good ones over the last 20 years, uh, for sure. Uh, regardless of what you think about Quincy Carter and how his NFL days turned out and the various medications uh, that he may or may not have been on. It was fun to watch him. Uh, it was fun to watch him uh, play. Uh, he was the quarterback at UGA when the goalpost came down. Uh, uh, about eighteen was that eighteen years ago now, nineteen years ago now, something like that. Uh, when we beat Tennessee uh, at home, Uncle Lou was at that game, and actually uh, Quincy Carter actually gave me a high five right on the fifty yard line. So. Uh, you know, one of those things you always remember type of deal. So I'll put Quincy Carter on, on my list. And, of course, DJ Shockley uh, goes on the list. Uh, SEC title in 2005. I skipped over David Green. Don't want to leave him out. He, he's, he's, up, he's near Buck Blue for me. Uh, and the reason is it had been so long since Georgia won an SEC title. We won them in 80, 81, 82. But we didn't win another one until David Green came along. Uh... And we won that, uh, won the title, which was amazing and outstanding and awesome and all at the same time. Yes. So David Green and DJ Shockley broke the broke that streak uh, of SEC titles for UGA fans. So they go on the list automatically. Uh, David Green set a lot of records at UGA, uh, most of which were broken by Aaron Murray, which also goes high on Uncle Lou's. Uh, list you know Aaron Murray and David Green are two examples of quarterbacks who consistently played well above their ceiling uh you know neither one of these guys uh ha had any NFL career to speak of they you know they both were picked up by teams David Green was with Seattle Seahawks for a while that didn't play that much uh Aaron Murray's a backup with the Chiefs now but you know let's face it he's never going to be a uh, he, he's not going to be an NFL team's long-term answer at the quarterback position. But in college, you know, th there was nobody better in college for the years that those guys um, were there. Uh, they were a lot of fun to watch. You could count on them. They were reliable. You knew what you were going to get, and they got the job done more times, uh, more times than not. Uh, Aaron Murray holds almost every SEC passing record known to man. Uh, yep, not Peyton Manning, Aaron Murray. Yep. Matthew Stafford, uh, I put him on the list because he's probably, or is, the most successful of the Georgia quarterbacks uh, of the last 20 years in the NFL. He's had a pretty good career with um, Detroit. Nothing spectacular, and I, yes, I know he's had Calvin Johnson to throw the, um, throw the ball to, and let's face it, that helps. But he's been a starting quarterback in the NFL for, what, six, seven, eight years now. Say what you want to, that's not easy to do. Uh, you know, very few quarterbacks start in the NFL for that long if they're not doing something right. So, uh, that, that's it. That's the list. I think that's a pretty good list. I, I really can't think of any other quarterbacks that deserve to be on Uncle Lou's list of favorite, uh, favorite quarterbacks. But like I said, let me know down below uh, what you think. And until next time... Quit trolling.